question six. All right. Let us see. Question six of the the what? May twenty seventeen. Matt C sec paper. No. In this problem, take pi to be twenty two over seven. Okay, no problem. The diagram below not drawn to scale shows a field in the shape of a sector of a circle. All right, no problem. With center O, O, you see right here, and so you have sector center O, diameter twenty eight, angle. P O Z is 90 degrees. We can see it here because you can make a little rectangle right in the corner and that shows that is 90 degrees. So you don't have to bother using up a lot of energy writing 9 and 0 to show 90. Now, they say the diameter is 28 meters. The diameter of the circle, you know. Guess what? If I should draw the whole circle, let us say this is my circle. The diameter is what? Is the distance right across of a straight line going through the center from one point of the circumference to the next? So all of this would be 28. But guess what? From here to here is not the diameter. It's half the diameter. So this distance is... 14, half of 28. Alright? So it's half of 28. So right here is really 14. So this is 14. Well, you must show it though, you know. That 28 divided by 2 equals 14. That is the radius. Right? That is equal to the radius. But... You have uh, you have a question here. Calculate the area of the field. No, it is part of a circle. And you know you remember the area of a circle? The area of a circle is what? Is pi times the radius square. But then, we have a little problem here. It's not a circle. It's a sector of a circle. So, we're going to have to find a fraction of a sector of a circle. Now, you remember that uh, you're going to have to multiply by a certain number. The whole circle has 360 degrees as an internal, as a angle one entire revolution making a full circle you have 360 degrees right but the angle in here is 90 degrees so you must multiply by 90 divided by 360 if it was something like this it would be half a circle the angle here would be 180 so it would be 180 over 360 which is half if it was something like something like this well you know it would be a full circle and is entire 360 degrees that is in the circle. So it would be 360 over 360, which would be 1. But then it's not 180 degrees. It's not 360 degrees we have in the middle. It is actually 90 degrees. All right? So we do the calculation. The area is pi. Well, let's say use 22 over 7. So we use 22 divided by 7 times the radius 14 square, 14 by 14, times 90 divided by 360. You know that 9 by 4 is 36, so 90 by 4 would be 360. So 4 times 90 would give you 360. So this is a quarter. Just a quick um, shortcut way of getting my fractions. All right? But you could... Divide it down, saying 10 into 90 goes 10, 10 into 36 goes 
30, 20 to 90 goes 9 and then turning into 360 goes 36 and 9 divided by 36 and so on and so forth. But anyway, any way you want to do it, you have more than one ways to get an answer. All right, or to move from one part of the question or the solution to another. But anyway, let's see. We have 22 divided by 7. This is pi times r squared. r means r by r, right? Any number you see squared, it means the number multiplied by the number. 14 by 14. The radius is 14, as we saw. So it's 14 by 14 times a quarter, because this is a... This is really a quarter of a circle, all right? Now, if we work things out, we can say 7 to 7 goes 1 times 7 to 14 goes 2. Let me see something here now. So that is 22 divided by 1. Didn't, have, didn't really have to write the 22. They, they, they divided by 1, but 1, 2, put it there anyway. 22 divided by 1 times. This is no longer 14, it's 2. 2 times 14 times a quarter. So, 22 goes 1 times, 24 goes 2 times. So, we have 22. We can leave out the divided by 1 now. Times didn't touch this 14 by 14 by 1 over 2, 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 14, 7 times. So we have 1 over 1 here, can leave that off. And then 7 times 22. So it's 22 times 7. That is going to give you the area. So 7 to 14, down the 14. The 4 carry the 1, 7, 2 is 14, and 1, 15, 154. They didn't say if it's centimeter or meter. Or, yeah, 28 meters. So the, the dimensions are in meters, so it's meter square. If it was centimeter, it would be centimeter square. But if they didn't, they didn't give you any unit, you just say unit square, whatever the unit is. But they told me is 28 meters the diameter, so I know that they have their measurements in meters. So the area is 154 meters square. So again, remember, you are it's a part of a circle, so you use a formula for the area of a circle. Then you need to scale down the circle because it's not a full circle. This is really a quarter of a circle. I know it's a quarter of a circle because this has 90 degrees. 90 is a quarter of 360, and 360 would be the full circle. So even before I calculated it, I know that this would turn down to be a quarter. So it's pi, they said to use 22 over 7. 22 over 7 times r squared is not r by 2, right? It's r squared, which means r by r. r is 14, half the diameter, half 28, 14. 14 by 14, which means 14 squared, by a quarter, and then I cancel down. 7 to 7 goes 1 times, 7 to 14 goes 2 times. It's 22 over 1 times 2 times 14 times a quarter. 4 into 24, 2. 2 into 2, 1. And then 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 14, 7. So I have 22 by 7. All right, so 7 to, four, seven to is 14, bring down the 4, carry the 1, 7 to 14, and 15, 154 meters squared is the area of that sector of a circle. After that, no, they say they want the perimeter of the field. You remember what perimeter means? I remember the term peri reading about the term peri and meter peri means around meter means to measure so you measure around peri means around peri scope right so periscope allows you to see around 
now the perimeter in this case you know if you start at say the center and you measure right along here and you measure right along here then you measure right along here until you end up where you started you have measured the perimeter and it's the distance around one time so that all these measurements would give you the perimeter right now the thing is this part would made a 14 and this part would measure what same 14 man shouldn't take more than two seconds to tell me all right so we already know that part of the perimeter is 14 and the other part of the perimeter is 14 so we have a total of 28 so far but we have a little problem here this part is not so straightforward right along the arc here so that is our problem now guess what if you had a full circle if it was a full circle the distance right around the circle from here all the way around and they ask you for that what would be the name of that in other words what is the name of the perimeter of a circle yeah that's a special name and you remember it is a circumference so this now is part of the circumference of the circle you understand that so what we're going to do is use the formula for the circumference of a circle right and remember we're not here to swat we're here to understand and the circumference of the circle now for a full circle you have to remember that the circumference is 2 pi r it is not 2 pi and it's not pi r squared anything with square in it is error it is 2 pi times r now what we have though is not a full circle the problem is we have a part of the circle what fraction of the circle is this again you remember from up here it's a quarter of a circle all right so we have a quarter of a circle here so must multiply by a quarter so what I have here is 2 times 22 over 7 times the radius 14 times a quarter nice 77 is 1 times 7 to 14 2 and 22 1 24 2 let's not make this too crowded so I rewrite it 2 times 22 times nothing left up here uh, 1 over 2 a half you see that 2 into 2 1 2 into 2 1 so oh this what am I doing with this here this would have been 22 not something over 22 all right so it seemed like the this part is 22 but we check again just to make sure 2 pi r times a quarter we get the quarter from up here 2 times pi which is 22 over 7 times the radius times the quarter now what we said is 77 goes 1 times 7 into 14 goes 2 2 into 2 goes 1 times 2 into 4 2 so we have 2 and we have by 22 times this is gone completely times 1 over 2 times a half so this 2 down here cancel this 2 up here and we're left with 22 so 
it seems like that part up here, the, the curve, is 22 meters. Now, the perimeter is therefore, you have the 14 plus the 14 plus the 22. So that is 28 plus 22. 28, 8 and 2, 10. Bring down the 0, carry 1, 2, down 2, 4, and 1, 5. So we have our perimeter as 50 meters. Everything all right with it? No. Anything you don't understand? Leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you later.